Hey, what's up everybody? This is going to be my third Bluetooth tutorial, and in this tutorial we're going to continue on from the last tutorial uh, where I showed you how to discover device. No, what did I show you? How to... Uh, oh, set discoverability, right. So in this one I'm going to show you how to discover devices. Um, so if you haven't watched those videos, you need to go back because we've already started and got a bunch of code here. First thing we're going to do is create a device list adapter class so that we can see our devices. It's just easier. I'm just basically going to copy out one that I made earlier because the tutorial is not on making list adapters. It's on Bluetooth. So I'm just going to paste it in here. The next thing we're going to do is create a new class, new layout class. We're going to call it uh, device adapter view. And the first thing is throw a text view in there to display our devices. And one more text view to, to display our device address pretty straightforward. We're done with this class, we can close it. And we're going to go back to activity main. And we're going to throw in a button. And then we'll throw in our second button. Oh no, we don't need a, another button, sorry. We're going to throw in our list view. Now we're going to go back to main activity. And we're going to need an array list to hold our um, devices that we're searching for. It's going to be an array list of type Bluetooth device because it's going to hold the Bluetooth devices that it discovers. And then we're going to need our device list adapter. And then, of course, we need our list view. I guess we'll start. I'm going to start by making the discover button. So we'll go below our onCreate method just to keep things consistent. And we're going to create a method called. Uh, actually, we'll go since we already have our button made in our activity. Um, let's just get Android to do it for us. There we go. Create our method. So the first thing we want to check is if the Bluetooth is already in discovery discovery mode if it's already looking for devices. We want to do M Bluetooth adapter uh, cancel discovery. And then after we cancel discovery we w actually want to start discovery. And then we're going to need an intent which we'll ca catch with our broadcast receiver. And the intent filter is going to use the action, action found uh, on the Bluetooth device. So then we just register our receiver and we'll call it broadcast receiver 3 which we haven't made yet. Uh, so one important thing here is if you're using, I think it's Android, anything greater than Lollipop, you actually require a special permission check to start discovery or your app won't be able to. So I'm going to throw in an extra method here. So I'm just going to copy and paste this in here because it's not, it's, Im it's important but it's not super important. Uh, ig ignore this red. It's just uh, saying that we're calling API 23, the current minute is 17. So it's going to check for the check the Android version, and if it's greater than Lollipop, then it will do this permission check. And you need this, like I said, if, if you're using anything higher than Lollipop and you want to start discovery. As far as I know, this is the only way to do it. There might be an another way, but I just haven't seen it yet. And we'll throw some comments in here too. Okay, now we'll go up back to our button discover method here, and we're going to do another case, and then we need to check permissions again. So the above case was if it is discovering, and I click the button, we want to cancel it and restart discovery. If it's not discovering, then we want to start discovering. And then we need same intent filter and same register receiver. So there we go. Now we just need to write the broadcast receiver method. So we're going to put our method up here, and actually what I'll do is I'll come down to Broadcast Receiver 3 and go create. Okay, first thing we need to do is create our action, and then we'll log, and then our if statement. So if Bluetooth device dot action found, which is what we pass in our discover right here, then we're going to do some stuff. So first thing we need is a Bluetooth device, and then we need to add the device to our to our list. So if you notice here with the Bluetooth device action found, uh, it it throw it throws an extra or a, what do you call it a, a parsable extra in the form of a device and then we can store that device so we declare we declare it here and then we get it through the intent through a parsable extra in the intent and then we can store it so we can log at this point again too and we can get some properties of the device there we go 
So now what, it'll log the device name and the device address. These get name and get address methods are for the Bluetooth device class. So any Bluetooth device, you can c use these methods on it. <coughs> There's a couple others also, like the UUIDs. So then we attach our uh, our device list to our our uh, device list adapter, and then set the list set the adapter to the list. I think we are pretty much ready to go here. Let's uh, I gotta plug my device in and we'll run it. Okay. So the first thing I'll do is just check, make sure Bluetooth's on and off. It was it was off, so I'm gonna hit allow on my device now. So you can see state turning on, state on, okay. Um, now let's hit the discover button. So looking for unpaired devices. Oh, I have to allow it on my device. There we go. Oh, and it crashed. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Oh, so you can see it actually did find the device, but probably something happened with the list adapter then. Yeah, that's what it is. Okay, I think we're good now. I added the new devices list view and the uh, array list for the devices. Let's try again. Okay, so now I'm going to hit the discover button. There we go. Looking for unpaired devices on receive says action found and there's the this is so this is the name of our device and this is the address of the device as we put in our broadcast receiver here. So here's the address and there's the name. So that's all for this tutorial. Uh, my next tutorial I will Oh, I'll actually do pairing. I'll do how to pair and then probably after that how to send data back and forth between two paired devices. If this was helpful, don't forget to like the video. If you haven't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. And thanks for watching.